Hi, Pupo here. In this video, I want to talk about the 30 degree rule in pool. The 30 degree rule is a corollary of physics analysis by Dr. Dave, which has real life application in determining the deflected angle of the cue ball. Before diving into high speed analysis, let's clarify two concepts. If we don't consider jump shots, the motion of the cue ball can be divided into two modes, sliding and rolling. The analogy is that rolling is like walking normally on the ground while sliding is like walking on ice. There's relative motion between your shoes and the ice. <laughs> All right, back to the topic. 30 degree rule applies to rolling cue ball only. When the cue ball hits the object ball anywhere between the quarter ball hit to three quarter ball hit, the deflected angle is very close to 30 degrees. To be more specific, the cue ball hits the object ball at 40.47 degree for a three quarter ball hit and 48.59 degree for a quarter ball hit. As long as you are in this range, the deflected angle is almost 30 degrees. And that's the content of 30 degree rule. We are neglecting the elephant in the room. How can we clearly and accurately see this 30 degree rule in action? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is the cue ball tracking in three cushion billiards. If you've watched the three cushion game, you probably will notice that they will draw out the cue ball path in the highlight replay. That's an efficient way to demonstrate the cue ball path. Luckily for me, I noticed that when I'm filming high speed clips, the strong light source will produce a bright spot on the surface of a ball. And if my light is far away enough and the balls move relatively short distance, the bright spot will remain fixed on the surface. And I can use optical flow in OpenCV to track the ball's motions. Here are some very fun clips to watch. If the cue ball is sliding on the table, it actually experiences constant friction, which means that its trajectory is a parabola. Now that everything's set up correctly, let's look at experimental results for rolling cue ball. I will test all approach angles between 10 degrees to 85 degrees with 10 degree increments. I will also include two special angles, which is the 14.47 degree for three quarter ball hit and 48.59 degree for a quarter ball hit. As we can see in the scatter plot of deflected angle versus approach angle, the experimental values are systematically higher than the theoretical predictions. That's probably due to the fact that theoretical values I'm using doesn't account for frictions between the balls and the balls inelasticity. I hope you liked the video and please leave a like below.